we finna get into it. What's up, you guys? It's Azaria Leani back in the cut with another YouTube video. guys so as you can tell by the title of this video today is vlogmas day 12 everybody needs healthy hygiene so today we're finna get into it and we're going from head to toe okay so first thing first always make sure to drink water i myself do find myself not drinking enough water at times but drinking water is definitely important it helps with the smell of urine it helps with how your bowels flow it helps with your skin, it helps with your nails, it helps with everything. You have to drink water, you have to stay hydrated. Water is very essential. If it's hard for you to drink water, I would say get like, not really, not, I wouldn't say like those jugs. Y'all know those jugs that they be having and they have like the different times on it of throughout the day. I wouldn't say get that because most people, I mean, you could get that if you like room temperature water. But if you prefer your water to stay cold, throughout the whole day make sure you get like a metal insulated cup i have one i got it from walmart i'll leave a picture inserted somewhere of some examples or maybe even mine but definitely make sure to get either a jug if you like it room temperature or insulated water bottle that's the way to like keep your water so you can like drink throughout the day maybe you're going out running errands you can keep that cup with you you know so definitely, definitely drink water. Disclaimer, everything that I'm saying in this video, it's hygiene tips and it's advice and it's a little bit of what I do for my routine. And this is stuff that I use for myself. I'm not telling you, oh, whatever I'm saying in this video, go do it, go buy it because it's going to work for you. It's going to do this, going to do that in the third. No, it's definitely tips to encourage you guys to try it. I don't know what works for you. Only you have to figure out what works for you. Don't go buy it and then come back and be like, oh, you said this will work for me and it's not working. No, it was just a suggestion. You all in all have to figure out what works for you, but these are definitely some greatly recommended products. Now, we're going from head to toe, so we're gonna start with hair. Hair is part of hygiene. I don't care what nobody say, hair is part of hygiene because your hair can smell bad and your hair can smell good. You have to take care of your hair because when you're walking around, if your hair isn't washed and it smells bad, people can smell that. That's definitely a part of hygiene. So first up, we have shampoo and conditioner. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I use. So, I use OGX. I'm currently using OGX, but I also use Cream of Nature. I've used Tresemme, but I stopped using Tresemme, but I would use it. But lately, it's been more Cream of Nature and OGX. OGX, I feel like it works for my hair better, but all in all, you do definitely have to figure out what works for your hair. This is something that I recommend. These are the products that I use, and that's what works in my hair. OGX and Cream of Nature, I feel like, are very good brands. I haven't heard like anything that's really bad. I definitely recommend to use those two products from those brands. Next up, you need a leave-in conditioner. This is the leave-in conditioner that I use. It's from the brand Tijin, T-G-I-N. I'm going to leave a picture somewhere on the screen so you guys can see it as well. It has green tea, um, argan oil, and some other stuff that I honestly don't know how to pronounce. I'm so sorry, y'all. But honestly, that's one of the best leave-in conditioners that I've ever used. Like, it works extremely well in your hair. But y'all have to be sure. Do not, y'all have to be sure. I hate, I hate, I hate, especially as a hairstylist. I'm so sorry. I have to bring it up. Do not overpack your hair with product. Your hair does not need a whole half a bottle of leave-in conditioner. I know for all the natural girls, you can't just go and blow out your hair without it being not moisturized. But you definitely have to like weigh it out so it's not too much, it's not too little. Because if you overpack your hair with product, that could be bad for your hair. Next up, um, you need an oil and or a grease. I don't know. Some people do have like really, really dry scalps. I'm not one of those people. No offense to anybody who does. But some people who have like dry scalps, even if you don't have a, a dry scalp, it's definitely still important to moisturize your scalp because that's where like 
all the flakes and dirt and stuff come from. So you definitely have to keep that moisturized so your hair won't be so itchy. Because when you wash your hair, it does kind of sort of take away the moisture. Like, I don't know, it's just like what shampoo does because it's like cleansing it. So it's cleansing it of everything. And sometimes depending on like what it is, it can strip your moisture away just a little bit. So definitely make sure to like grease it, like keep your hair moisturized. This is one of the, um, I know people use, um, Blue Magic. I've never used that as a black girl. That's crazy. But this is like an example of like an oil to do, like to put in your hair. Um, this was not at my local beauty supply store, but there are multiple, um, hair oils. I got that from one of my family members who makes hair oils. The thing is called Cashmere Caviar. That's the brand's name. I also know that there's a brand called Olaplex. I personally never use Olaplex, but I hear nothing but good things about that brand. But it is more on the pricey side. So, yes, I would recommend it due to the fact that I've heard other people use it and that they've, like, had no bad reviews about it. But I've never used it, so I can't really tell you how good or bad it is. Next up, we have your face. Definitely, definitely, definitely wash your face. And I'm not talking about get a rag with some hot water and just press it on your face. Some people, that'll work. That, that's just their skin. But to me, that's not cleansing your face. It's two things you need to like cleanse your face. One, you need a face scrubber. This is the one I use. I know it looks a little weird. I know it looks a little weird. Yeah, don't, don't don't i know what it looks like but it has bristles on it you guys and here's the on and off button and this is to like because it actually vibrates so are you serious are you serious y'all please ignore my dog please ignore him because if i kick him out my room all he's gonna do is come back or scratch on the door and i'm pretty sure i don't want to hear that so please just ignore him let's just hope that he behaves he's just sitting there quietly Anyways, yes, definitely. I recommend a silicone one, a silicone face scrubber. It doesn't have to look like that one. I don't remember the brand name because I don't have the box for that anymore, but it does come with a charger. It's not battery operated and it is waterproof. So it, it has a charger and then like you'll take it off the charger, but I haven't charged that in like months. Like that one works really, really well. The reason why I say silicone and not the, you know, the, the plastic sort of not really plastic but y'all I'm gonna leave a picture I, the reason why I don't recommend those is because those can leave like a lot of dirt like it's like a cloth and you can't really like and then the, I know they have different bristle heads but I just wouldn't recommend that one because like it trap way more dirt and then you just be putting dirt trying to cleanse your face it's just too much it's just too much I just I personally wouldn't recommend that one. No, just get the silicone one, scrub your face with it. And this is what I wash my face with. I use CeraVe. This is not the only face wash I use. I also use their SA cleanser and I use the acne control wash. But as far as the SA cleanser goes, I only really use that one when um, I'm giving myself like a personal facial. And for facials, I use um, Mr. Freeman. I use Mr. Freeman. I did that in my Sunday reset video. So if y'all want to see what I use for that, definitely go tune in and watch that video. That video went up, I believe, yesterday. So definitely go tune in and watch that video. Next thing I recommend to do is facial serums. Now me, this is just me. I have different facial serums that I use. Majority of them are from CeraVe, but these are a few of them. I also leave pictures so you can um, get a better view. So these are just like two of them that I use. I use this one, hydrating hyaluronic acid. And then this one is just vitamin C. I use like these on different days of the week. I do recommend to have like a facial serum like get those that extra i don't know how to explain it but i definitely feel like it's good for your skin 
Now, after you go in with the facial serum, get a good moisturizer. This is the moisturizer that I use by CeraV. I know it says AM, but honestly, moisturizer is moisturizer. Maybe, maybe it has something in there to like get you up and moving for like the morning. If not, if you don't want to use that one, you could definitely use their daily moisturizing cream. That one, I feel like it's good too. Okay, next up, we have oral hygiene. That's definitely, definitely important. Um, so first thing first is toothpaste. Me, I use Sensodyne. And I use Sensodyne because I have very sensitive teeth and I have very bad sweet tooth. So I'm definitely prone to getting cavities more because I like sweet stuff. It's, it's just it's just me. So I use Sensodyne. I'm going to leave a picture of the exact one that I use. I believe it's for gum sensitivity and something else. Um, I know there's also Colgate, Crest, and I know there's one with charcoal in it. And I believe the brand is called Hello. Hello Smile. And it's like all black. Um, those I hear are very good. I've used all of those. But personally, the charcoal one didn't really do anything for my teeth. I've heard that it's supposed to like brighten your teeth so it can be like whiter but it hasn't really done that for me but honestly all toothpastes just do the same thing to me like it's just a toothpaste i don't i'm not really sure the difference but i know lately i've been using sensodyne and that's what's been working for me i've i would use like any other toothpaste it's really not that deep to me it's just a toothpaste i just feel like they all do the same thing i don't really know the difference and whatever but if y'all know the difference and something y'all put me on in the comments next thing is mouthwash i do feel like mouthwash is important because what if like you know when you brush your teeth but you like let's say you ate like a steak or ribs and you get it stuck between your teeth you swishing that all around throughout your mouth to like literally like get everything out and then like gargling it to like the back of your throat Sometimes people wake up with mucus in the back of their throat. That's why it's also important when you use your toothbrush to like really scrub your tongue and like use your gag reflexes, y'all. Y'all be able to like get all of that stuff out because that mucus sitting there, it can like affect your breath. And that's not, that's just not. Mm -mm. My gloss that I use is from TheraBreath. Um, I have, it works really good. It's more for like your breath freshening and stuff like that i will also say like throughout the day get like a breath spray like with mint stuff like let's say you ate something with garlic or whatever definitely get one of those like you can literally look up like breath spray or breath spit spray whatever it's called definitely get one of those another mouthwash that's really good is by act act the green one though i spoke to my dentist and she said that's really good for like um cavities and the protection of your teeth right before you go to bed brush your teeth put the mouth wash on but you can't rinse it out it's kind of like a sealant so we can like sit on your mouth throughout the night so we could protect your teeth next up is a tongue scraper you definitely 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 i feel like it's essential to have a tongue scraper i can't go get mine because i have to go get a new one but i will leave a picture somewhere on the screen i've been leaving pictures throughout this whole video of everything that i'm talking about so definitely get a tongue scraper. They're not that expensive on Amazon. It's like a good bundle. I believe you get two for about $6. That's really, really good. And if you guys are college students, y'all know y'all can get Amazon Prime for free, right? For about six months. I just put y'all on. Go get that free Amazon Prime. Anyways, next up, you have to floss. I definitely, definitely, definitely believe that flossing is essential. Although at times I do fall short of flossing, but definitely, definitely floss because sometimes you might not even see what's in between your teeth until you like floss and like take it out. Like definitely take care of your teeth. And lastly, I don't know if this is part of hygiene, but it's a part of hygiene to me. Put on some lip gloss or some chapstick, please, please. It The weather, it, we're going to winter. I'm tired of seeing people walk around with these chat behind lips. That's not cute. Like, it really bothers me. It really bothers me. If you are not a lip gloss type of girl, a lip gloss type of man, boy, whatever, put on some chapstick, please. Please, it's not cute. 
it's ugly to walk around with chapters. And then y'all know when y'all be seeing the skin pit. It's disgusting. I'm tired of seeing it. So I don't care if it's a part of hygiene or not. We're going to make it a part in this video. Next, we have the breast area. Now, if you would do what you watch in this video, obviously that's not for you because y'all don't got those. Now, I know that people with larger breasts, like sometimes it tends to sweat underneath. So there are definitely like good deodorants so it can last you, keep you dry throughout the day. Also, you can use body powder. You can also use this for your underarms as well to like keep them dry. Definitely use that because sweat does have an odor if it's like excessive, especially people with hyperhidrosis. Definitely use some of that. Also, I recommend a nail scrubber to get like in between your nails with everything. Definitely, you have to use that. I would say wash your hands before wash your face. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that. But definitely wash your hands before you wash your face because you've been touching stuff all day. And if you just go ahead and put all that water on your face and put the soap on, you'll be doing nothing but mixing germs in a cleanse. And if your face is freaking out, maybe that's probably why because you're not washing your hands before you wash your face. So definitely do that. Okay, now we're going to get into the good stuff. We're getting into the body. So, for body wash, I use Dove. This, this, like, I just got this when I went to um, the store. So, if y'all haven't watched, I don't remember what video that is, but I'm going to leave the thumbnail right here. So, definitely go tune in and watch that. I got this at Target. This scent is, like, pretty good really really good now i know there are more than i know y'all tired of seeing like every hygiene video oh why they talk about this dub 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 listen i know there's dub there's dr bronner's and they talked about they talk about like the mint one it leaves you smelling so clean and fresh like it's like your skin is literally breathing now my only issue with that is is like i used it once but it has no moisture like it really strips away all the moistures from your skin so yes you use that but i feel like if you use that you have to go in with like a body wash like dove which is actually more moisturizing so be mindful of that yes it does get the job done it does cleanse you your body will feel clean but it does not have any type of moisture in it now i also recommend the ogx brand that's the um that's the shampoo and conditioner brand that i just showed y'all also i've used method body i believe it has almond milk or something milk in it but that's definitely a good body wash to go in with as well and another thing please make sure that y'all clean y'all belly buttons i don't know why that's a spot that everybody sometimes tends to forget but definitely clean your belly button because if you swab it right now, it probably won't smell good if you're not clean. Like every single shower, definitely go ahead and clean that belly button because that's still a part of your body. You definitely have to clean that. Now, as far as your private area goes down there, what I like to use, what I found that works best for me is honey pot. I really, really, really love honey pot. I tried everything. I, I've tried stuff that I realized wasn't even good. I've tried Summer's Eve before. It's not good for you. Don't use that. Do not use Summer's Eve. Vagicel, I've tried that as well. I don't recommend that. I prefer Honey Pot because it has a lot more natural stuff. So I definitely recommend to use Honey Pot for that area. All right. So now I'm going to get into like what you actually use to cleanse your body. So, I definitely strongly recommend y'all have to, yes, you're using whatever you use. You may use a loofah, you may use exfoliating gloves, you may use a rag. But all of those things need to be washed at least every two weeks. You don't have to wash them every week. I know some people say, no, I wash my stuff every week, every week, every week. That's fine. But me personally, I find worse for me is to wash my, like, everything from my body. You have to wash your towels wash your rags i use exfoliating gloves when, I, when i'm in the shower because like i just like to exfoliate my body that's what works best for me rags never really work for me i prefer like i feel like i have more control with the gloves actually on and i have a pair of gloves right here that i have not used yet i have some that i'm currently using and this is by eco tools 
and it's in the color pink so definitely try exfoliating gloves i would recommend everybody to try exfoliating gloves because like it's literally like the easiest thing to use you put it on your hands you have the soap and you just rub it together and then cleanse your body it's the easiest thing to use in my team but as i was saying definitely clean your your rags your towels exfoliating gloves whatever you use to take a shower um along with your sheets and your pillowcases that's a big part of hygiene as well especially if you're one of those people who sweat at night maybe even clean your sheets every week if you're a person who sweats because you know sweat has like an odor once you wait too long so if you have if you're like an excessive sweater definitely make sure you clean everything that you use especially your sheets and pillowcases now exfoliants exfoliating i feel like for for people who use exfoliating gloves, that could be optional, but I would still, I personally still go in with exfoliant. Like I have my days, like spa days where I just shave because I'm too afraid to wax. So I'll shave and exfoliate whole nine yards, moisturize. And I use Tree Hut. Um, I've used Dove exfoliators before, and I feel like those work really well. But when it comes down to like like actually feeling the exfoliant, um, I feel like Tree Hut is better because Dove is like more is Dove is definitely moisturizing, which is a good thing. But I personally would use Tree Hut. Now let's get into the actual moisturizing the body outside the shower. I would say use you could use whatever works for you. I know people use body oil, people use body butters. Me personally, I don't really, I have body butters, but I don't use them as much as I use my lotion. So definitely use whatever works best for you. Um, me personally, I can only use the Evolution of Smooth, which is also known as EOS. I can only use that brand of lotion. And I also use the Cocoa Butter Formula. Those are the only two lotions I can use. I've been seeing everybody say they can use Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret Lotion. I can't use that lotion because it has way too many perfumes in it. So, um, I personally use EOS or I use the Cocoa Butter Formula. I would recommend those two as, like, lotions to use when you get out the shower. I feel like you should be moisturizing as soon as you get out the shower because that's just something you need to do. Okay, so now we can talk about underarms, like deodorant and stuff. So, I know there are certain people with hyperhidrosis. I do too tend to like sweat a lot so again definitely you can use this body powder i don't know if i would say use deodorant and then body powder i feel like that's the most smartest way to go because you don't want to put the body powder on and then go on with the deodorant like it can make it like really clumpy and that's not what you want also definitely try to use deodorants that are antiperspirants there's a difference between antiperspirant deodorants and just deodorant me personally i tried to use this brand called dura dry it didn't work for me it's supposed to be for people with hyperhidrosis but i didn't really find it to help me so as of right now i'm currently using secret and i use their antiperspirant that's vanilla scented if you're too afraid to wax like me i definitely would say go in with a shower gel shower gels over shower creams to help more with the razor bumps i definitely recommend that now as far as razors go please make sure you have razors with at least like four blades because if you're using those blades which is two or three you're more prone to be getting razor bumps and nicks and nacks and that's going to hurt i also see people use this magic shaving cream but i will only say use that for your underarms and your legs of course i don't think you should put it down there because I do hear that it smells really strong. I have it, but I haven't tested it out yet. But if it's strong, I don't think that's something that you should put in that area because, you know. Now, um, also, there's this thing on Amazon. It's the PFB Razor Bump Stopper. I'm going to put a picture so you guys can see it. That is for, like, razor bumps. I think you put it on after or before. I'm not really sure because I haven't had a chance to actually use it. But... 
there are really really good reviews on there so definitely do your research and on your own so you can see if that's something that you may want to try out now booty wipes i don't know no other way to like say it but your butt sweats so i definitely would recommend using booty wipes they are on amazon i don't know no other way to like sugarcoat it but it's called booty wipes it's for back there and that's what you use to like wipe to make sure that that doesn't smell or it doesn't sweat because your butt does sweat then i know for people who have hyperpigmentation um you may want to like use a cream or something and i know there's something on amazon all of this is in my amazon store for you guys but i have yet to put it on my link tree so i'm still organizing it and adding stuff on there for you guys so you guys can see it but i definitely definitely will like i'm still working on that and as soon as it's finished i'll go ahead and link that down below in the description box so you guys can go ahead and click it and get everything that you need like everything lastly is your feet um in the shower i don't know if everybody like remembers to wash their feet but it's definitely important to wash your feet after you wash your feet if your feet tend to sweat definitely again go in with the same powder that i've shown you guys um not too much because you know it could leave like powder in your shoes and stuff and it could leave like powder on your socks and everywhere so definitely like rub it around just like pat them onto your feet you don't need too much and if your feet tend to stink like in your shoes i recommend shoe deodorant there are like shoe deodorant balls that you can like go ahead and slip into your shoes once you take them off so like it doesn't have that bad of an odor and there are also sprays for it one more thing that i forgot to tell you guys is vitamins take care of vitamins is extremely 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 important it reflects how everything comes out the smell of it all of that so i'm just going to tell you a couple of vitamins that i take um first off i take this it has C, D, and zinc in it. That was especially good for like when COVID was out. It's still good now because honestly, it's something new every single day. Pretty sure y'all seen these already. These are just cranberry pills. They're healthy for your vaginal area. And also these pH pills. I also have very bad allergies. So I like to take Zyrtex. And this is a good probiotic for women. Now that we covered from head to toe, I really hope this video helped somebody. I hope I gave you guys some good tips, some good tricks. But that concludes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Stay connected. All my socials are linked in the description box down below as well as in the intro. This is the end of the video for Vlogmas Day 12. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 13. Make it bounce like this.